All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Mucklick Streams. I'm your charming, self-proclaimed, yet still humble host, Mucklick. And today we are back in the wonderful world of Baldur's Gate. I am messing with my lights for a second. I am looking extra pasty, pasty, pasty. Oh, uh, how are you all? I hope you're doing good. We are continuing our evil playthrough where the evil gnome Dennis, cleric of Tiamat, is going around to uh, spread religion one violent act at a time. Also, he has the Dark Urge, and that's been a problem. He dismantled a bard yesterday in his sleep. We, we woke up, and there were bard bits everywhere, and Gale is really concerned. Uh, understandable. Totally understandable. But we are picking up where we left off and seeing what kind of trouble we can get into. Uh... Oh, that looks a little better. A little more, a little more uh, color in my cheeks from that camera angle. Uh, 100 hours is not enough played again. Yeah. Are you planning on going to the Swamp Muck to visit Auntie Ethel? The Swamp? Uh, yeah, at some point. Need to visit Auntie Ethel. Need to go and, uh, what is the other stuff? I mean, well, I mean, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna play the whole game. We're gonna do all the things. Let's see. That's a dead end. Yeah, we have quite a few things to do. We just met the dog last night. We were not mean to the dog. We're selectively evil. We could pick who we're evil to. We don't have to be evil to dogs. We did kick a squirrel, though. <laughs> we did kick a squirrel so hard it exploded. That happened. Go kill all those smug druids in their stupid grove. Uh, working on it. Squirrels are annoying, forgiven. Oh, I'm glad you forgive me. Let's see. Up there's the goblin ambush. Hmm. Let's see. Alright, quick save. Just in case this turns out poorly. Get over there! Surround him like! I know you're there. Show yourselves. You spoiled us. Good. Like they say, no fun in skewing a pig what doesn't know he's cooked. <laughs> Curious, I had almost the exact same thought when I saw you. That's supposed to be a threat. Got a set on you, all right. Almost makes me like you. <laughs> almost. I'm gonna enjoy pulling off your skin when we're done. Oh, wow. Last time, I, I bullied them and I talked my way through this. I didn't get the option this time. Um... Let's see if we can cut off line of sight. And pull them back here through this choke point. I don't fancy their chances. Let me see, turn on the highlights. Can he... Oh wow, he would have to... Go like go like up the ladder. Night to King Five. Let's finish this. If I moonbeam this, where will she move to? Right there. Did that oh that one hit killed it. Nice. You like it clear gameplay? So far, yeah. Oh ow! Well, there goes half my hit points. God dang. Uh, hmm. These boots have seen everything. All right, first off, a potion will remove burning damage, so we're gonna do that, and then back up some more. Do I have shield of fate? No, I didn't get that. Okay. Oh, I didn't see there was some on that roof, too. Yikes! You could have had your ears to my okay, I apparently need to back up further if I don't want them to be able to hit me. Getting kind of lucky with these dodges, though. Keep them guessing. Let's see. Um... Jump out of the fire. Can't afford to let up. All right. 
Can she reach this fella? Yeah, she barely has to move. Like the present. Moving. Okay. Wow, that one can still reach her. Dude, those roofs, those roofs are too tall. Let's see. Is a goblin weak to anything in specific? None. All right. Uh... Summon a flying battle axe. Breathe deep and move. My flying battle axe is a half health shot. That's not good. Where's the moon? Be oh, did we lose concentration? I guess we lost concentration of it. Well, Asterian's not gotten to do anything. I thought by now they would have lost line of sight and they would have come running over here, but it just hasn't happened. Don't maybe if I get up by this wall, maybe, maybe. She's got one more level two spell slot. One dead, the other at one hit point. Ah, she is very vulnerable standing there. If I do this, where will he move? No time for mercy. Three damage. Enchantment. Twenty-four. What? Why can this weapon barely move? They hit it with. Wait, what? What? Why can it only fly like three feet? What is going on? I don't see any status effects on it. Awesome. Well, that's turning out not useful at all. Concentration broken moonbeam. Again? <sighs> Can't give up. Healing word. Got to press on. Really? Hunger for the slaughter. Battle of wits. Hmm. Any water? Uh, I have a. Hang on a sec. Does fly make any difference to just normal movement in this? I don't think it does. Wow. I have the summon water spell. I don't know if I've got any jugs of water. Grease, which would make the problem worse. No, I got water cheese wheels. And we're out of moonbeams, unfortunately.
Okay, that's right there. That's where to do it. That's how we get them down. Lacerate. What should I do? Hmm. Just chill. There's blood in the air. The trees are short. They're starting to come down now. Yeah, I didn't realize spiritual weapons movement was so slow. That certainly changed things. Light on my feet. Cause I was like, oh yeah, this will just fly up there and take them out easy. But uh no, apparently that takes 20 turns. Oh no. <laughs> Nah, no, you know what? I'm very glad. Spiritual Weapon got to do something. Got to do something. Well, I like that the predictive thing for... Nice. I like that when it was estimating uh, how far he could move, it was completely wrong. Nice! Three of my 40 party, four party members fell. And she's climbing back up, so she's probably got line of sight on one of them. Nice! Best be on my way. Having already lost concentration of, uh... Both of the moonbeams was really unfortunate. Failed intimidation. It didn't even give me the chance. She just said, I'll kill you. I said, not if I kill you first. And there was no intimidation check. She just attacked. <sighs> that Gale and Asterion have done... I think, I think Gale did a healing word this fight. But that's it. For the most part, they have done nothing this fight. Yeah. My flying weapon has to go to the ladder. Guiding bolt, 55%? Really? There we go. Okay. Alright, we are messed up. <sighs> Enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. <laughs> uh alright, so I've got one more spiritual weapon, no more moonbeams. I consider those my my high power magic. Two corpses up there on the roof. I don't think I can get up there because they broke the ladder. All right, got that loot. To the building. Ah, oh, verticality. Can you use a mage hand to toss a body? Uh, tossing a body is a strength check, so possibly. I don't know if, uh, if we've got enough strength for that, though. Someone there. Who has mage hand? He does once per short rest. The air is ripe with magic. 
grease bottle. I wonder if the gods are watching me. Oh, shovel. I don't think we had a shovel yet. Calcify. Wait a minute. Uh, does this burn? Ooh. I don't think I ever found this last time. High Cliffs Journal. My master weapons are almost complete. There's one component left. Samson says the designs are a failure, but what's he know? He could barely see past his own belly. I stashed the prototypes and blueprints for now, but just you wait, Samson. Your legend is fading, and a new one will rise in its place. Regarding strange writers in these parts. The date on this letter has faded with time, but the paper alone indicates great age. My fellow citizens, or fellow citizens we are, like it or not. I print to post multiple copies of this notice in the region, at no small expense to myself, because I feel a growing concern and alarm at the presence of strange riders in these parts of late. Many of you have seen them, tramping through our forests and towns under the guise of patrol. They claim they are guardians sent from Elturel to protect the borders of the great and holy nation of Eltergard. Don't be fooled by shining armor or handsome mounts. I never bent the knee to any altar guard, and I never asked any metal jester to come peering over my garden fence. As you all know, I'm descended direct from the original Selenite settlers along these banks, and I have a half-elven great-uncle who swear to it. We're peaceable folk, and we get on with the druids well enough, but I pay no fealty or tax to any far-off city I can't even find on a map. I take no small pleasure in telling these thugs just that, and I urge you to do the same. They call themselves Hell Riders. I call them interlopers, and they can bugger off to the hells, them and their city both. With grave concern and serious intent, Daemon Briska, proud and free citizen of the Harlands. Dude, that guy snores so loud. Moon witch rubbish. How much time did some dim witted artisan waste on that? <sighs> Keep your distance, darling. Woo! I'm gonna be honest, I, because I, I hit uh, the way I attacked that guy, I thought that was a surprise round. So I didn't think it was going to move until round two. And then it absolutely rocked Gale with an attack of opportunity. Ah, uh, boy. Trying to get the food stuff. Oh wait, that's rotten. No. Can't slow down. F faded instructions. Faded blueprints. All right. Quick save because I am curious about what's over here. I do have two more short rests if I end up needing to use them. Oh, I know where we are. Okay. Oh, I didn't know about this entrance to this location. High Cliff's Blueprints. Uh, let's see. Precise arcs and neatly drawn lines form the blueprints of three weapons, greatsword, sickle, and dagger. Each length and angle is marked with exact measurements, and forging instructions are printed carefully along the bottom of the page, emphasizing an unusual ingredient, susser bark. The susser bark can only be applied to an ordinary, unmodified blade. Blueprints. They call for susser bark. Susser bark. If only I knew where to find some. How delicious. Easy. Easy. Can't give up now. 
Infernal Iron. Blacksmith's Note. Uh, specimen metal, hardness, 9.5, very hard, melting point, unknown, color, silver, markings, red laceration, selected yellow dust, source, underdark, gift from redacted, faintly sulfuric odor, forging unsuccessful, will not melt or warp at standard temperature. Steel forged sword. Okay. Your party sounds out of shape climbing that ladder. <laughs> oh no, I just picked up the whole barrel. I didn't mean to do that. Wait, smoke powder barrel. Oh my god. 44 plus 18 force. That might be fun later. Can we carry that? Don't touch me. Okay. No one stopped me yet. Light up. Asterian's now carrying a giant explosive keg. That can only be a fun thing. Souls. Short swords. Bottle rack. More thieves tools. A mall. I can't forge a weapon without starting a fire. Yeah, but we need the Susser Bark. Something's here. Almost missed it. At the ready. Done. Wow, got lucky. Rolled a 10 out of 10. Looks out here. That's a 10% chance. Yeah, still though, first try. I could spin a cloak from all these cobwebs. Mm, I applaud your taste. Oh, by default, he puts the shield away instead of the weapon. Hmm. Uh, first play, first time in this cave. Not my first time in this cave. Last time I was in this cave, I encountered a bunch of little spiders and I killed them. And I encountered a big spider. And the, while I was in a, a fight with the big spider's underlings, I lost track of the big spider and it vanished. I have no idea what happened to it. Mutluck high. Um. Miss. That was a ninety-eight percent chance. Well, I am having a great time. Are you dark urge? I am. And a one. Oh my gosh. Oh. Fight. Not having great rolls here. Alright, our last spiritual weapon. Hold on. Uh, do y'all have any weaknesses? None. Alright. I've tried a spear. If I shoot, it's 85% chance. If 
I fireball, it's 75. All right. Can she get close enough to Halo of Spores this turn? No, she can't. I made the big star take 50 volley damage. I truly don't know what happened to it. Because, like, I was fighting it and a bunch of its ads. Like, it summoned a bunch of ads, and I was fighting the ads, and then I turned around and it was gone. So, like, if something cinematic happened, I missed it. Or it just vanished. I don't know. But I never killed it. I couldn't find it. Uh, oh, that's right. He already Eldritch Blast on turn one. Hi, hi, Morgan. Ah, oh, yes, the phase spiders. Gaping wounds. Got one level one spell remaining. I could Thunder Wave. Use your channel divinity to maximize the damage, sure. So 16, and that one resisted, so he took half, so he took eight. Shelly. Shadowheart does the mushroom dance now. I made her a spore druid. Nice. Now they see me. Into the shadows. Got to keep fighting. Alright, that one's down. Alright. And we got the ones upstairs. Ow. 55%, but if I can lock this on... on it. Damn. I was like, if I can lock this on, it'd be a big deal. Difficulty is this? Uh, tactician. Max. Anything, I guess. 